Oh, thank goodness. You came to my rescue. Oh my god. 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 Oh. As you see, if you haven't noticed, I was held captured by Anita Sarkeesian. New video. Mm hmm. And. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> if you had watched and you have not, or, or you just subscribed to my channel, or not subscribed and just saw this random vid in somewhere, hmm? Yeah, and have not yet heard of Anita Sarkeesian. She is in charge of Feminist Frequency, okay, which has had a, quite a bit of backers, and she, you know, she used to say that a lot of people look at her videos and a lot of stuff. Uh, even the Amazing Atheist did a video. If you have not heard of him, um, yeah. Basically, sorry, sorry, dry things is insane, you know this. Yeah. Anyways, um, I saw on his Twitter and Tumblr, which I will have linked in the description down below that he was going to do a response to this video and I thought well maybe he could I could give a look at it first <sighs> can't show me. I've been watching quite a bit of Anita Sarkeesian's videos and I will definitely have to say one thing about them Sorry about this, the camera's weird today. Anyways. I was just saying one thing about them. That they lack. Oh, it is not information. It's got a load of information. It's got very good editing. It was very well done when it comes to editing. I hope I'll reach your level of editing. And the person who's in charge of has a lot of bubbliness and stuff like that. But, and if you well liked, well, I have a link in the description that will say otherwise. That's linked to uh, Nintendo. Oh no, Nintendo. Oh no, they didn't. Yeah. Live journal of dot com, and there are tons of things said about her. I won't say too much. Okay. Sorry about this. I'm just looking things over here. And basically, people have either liked or really disliked her. And for two good reasons. One, she never backs up what she actually says. Tons of people have said that. And I have done my own research, so yeah. With the exception of, um, I think it was Happy, was the Manic Pixie Dream Girl. I believe that person, I believe that one is untrue. Heck, 
I even wrote a letter to her to send on Facebook. I'm covering up stuff I don't want you to know because, frankly, I don't know you people and I really don't want you to know where I live or other than my, uh, my YouTube and you know, Facebook, Twitter and everything. That is all. <laughs> no offense to you, but I don't know who's out there. But yes, I sent her a letter as of April the 29th of 2013. Hey. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Almost gave it away. <laughs> okay. And I shall read. Basically, okay, I'm just going to do a summary of this letter. Basically, what I do is I ask Anita Sarkeesian to that after I watched Amazing Atheist's video that he made, it's called, uh, I believe it was titled Damsel, you know, Now Who's the Damsel? Oh, I believe that was the title. And he brought up a lot of good points. Pretty much about the same points that everyone else made. So I liked how he said it. However, one of the few things you mentioned was she, like I just said, doesn't back up what she said. And the worst thing that he found, that even I find objectable, in fact, I'll even say that for the last bit. No, I'll just say. She doesn't allow comments on her video. Ever. Yet she has all the support from all these different backers. And, you know, what I think is really, really silly about it, if, if anything, is if I was one of her backers, I think I would like to have some say in what I'm backing. Because how can I back her up if I'm not even allowed to say, oh, okay, here's why she's right. And why she's wrong. And, of course, some of the things she says are truthful. Some of the things I think are just what TJ said about in his video, 33 Reasons to Not Be a Feminist, is sometimes they tend to Feminists tend to kind of counterbalance <sighs> counterbalance things that are and statistics like for example women are paid far less than men well in some cases yeah women are going to be paid less if you're working in a different position, like, for example, I'm going to be paid less than my boss if I work at, if I work in a restaurant or in, even in an office. I'm going to be paid less than my boss, and who happens to be a man, and not a woman, a man, and, and I, as a woman, is what are supposed to find that sexist. No. I just think that's seniority and the position he has. Now, I would think it was sexist if every time I came to him and asked, well, why can't I get a raise in this job? You know, and he doesn't give me a reason. Then I might say, yeah, that's probably sexist discrimination right there, and I should get someone to look into it. And I believe that is wrong. So, yes, 
I believe that there are women out there who get abused and everything, but I don't think the video games are to blame for the wanted misogyny. I think, if anything, if anything at all, that's just society. That is just society. It is people who see a woman and say, yeah, let's beat her up. Go right ahead. There ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> that is something that's wrong with our society. And likewise goes for men. I mean, think about it. As much as I respect men, I'm sure there are women out there who think, men, they're here to take our money and our time and all they and what they want in return for protecting us is, you know, you know, I'm not gonna say. Hey, they don't care about our safety. They just want us for. They, they want us there to acclimate them, to worship them, and stuff, stuff like that. And then when she. One of my biggest issues with that video was also about the mercy killings. She mentioned stuff about mercy killings in video games. When it comes to literature, movies, books, anything like that, where there's a death, I'm looking at half of these deaths that she's discussing and talking about as being I don't, I see them as mercy killings because, hey, if I saw a loved one hurting and in pain, I mean, I wouldn't want to do this, but if I had to, I really would do it. I would kill them. I'd have to kill them. Because I don't think it's fair or just to make someone suffer like that. In pain, I mean... You've all seen that movie all together. I mean, goodness knows that that dog suffered before he died. Okay. okay. I mean, I know I'm trying to talk gender equality here with men and women, and that's really not what this video is about, per se, even though I feel she also neglects one other thing about this sort of issue. And I believe TVTropes.org uh, uh, mentions a thing about dudes in distress in video games. Yes. One would be, or actually three good examples would be Mario and Luigi and Toad uh, and Super Princess Peach Mario and Luigi, along with Wario, and Super Mario 64 DS, has actually start out trapped by Bowser. The player starts off as Yoshi and has to rescue them in order to unlock them. Okay. Okay, uh, another would be, okay, and just Mario in Luigi's Mansion. Huh? Sorry, I'm just, I just got this information, just got this information. And, and another was, was Squall at the start of the second disc of Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> Um, another was Mischief Makers of N64 at the Heroin Marina, constantly having to save her perverted mentor. Huh. And 
And another would be with our favorite, Fairly Odd Parents from Nickelodeon on the game on the Game Boy Advance, Into the Cleft is about Timmy having to is about Timmy having to rescue the Crimson Chin, his favorite hero. And of course, you know, the King of Hyrule hasn't been killed by the big bad. And he usually ends up as as this. As and you can find him in Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap, and The Legend of Zelda CDI games, and the cartoon series. So, yeah. I pretty much have to say, as a woman, and as a person, regardless whether I play video games or not, I see men and women are pretty much equal in the media. Regardless of what happens. I mean, yes, there are times where I wish there were more female heroines, but you know what? This doesn't exactly fix the problem. We need to start with how men and women are treated in society. Okay, maybe we shouldn't be so concerned about, well, okay. I guess that's to be saved for another video. Okay. I guess that's to be saved for another video. However, I think pretty much, for the most part, when it comes to media, men and women are well portrayed. It may just mean we need to go to something else, or we need to really look at what makes us all the same, opposed to what is different. And, yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say. And, thankfully, anyways, I just hope Benita does the one thing I asked her in the letter. Considering how much she goes on and on about women that being unfairly and unjustly not listened to in her, in the media. Considering she's got a Facebook where women could post what how they feel about the media. I she get tons of people to decide with her. Okay. Probably or some help with making her videos a little bit better and less, you know, on the misandristic side, if you get what I mean. That's my personal opinion. And if you want to learn more about these things, I plan to put a link in the description below and state, you know, where you can find all this information and know what was going on and what they said what these people said about Anita and Sarkeesians oh, oh my god dumb opinions and um I also plan on linking this you know amazing TJ is amazing it is down below in the description also do me a favor and please like subscribe and share this video with people and if you wish to discuss with me please again look in the description I will have my Twitter okay? and you can visit and post comments on my YouTube page okay? by clicking my little you know Evelyn O'Malley name thing you know, name. As well, you can look at my fan fiction. Yes, my fan fiction. I plan on putting down some more stuff soon, but it probably won't come out until like late June, maybe early June. Anyways, 
This is Evelyn O'Malley. Hey, hey. We, Roger, Whipple, and Oates. Hey. Bye.